Okay, I'll pray one more time. Uh, hang on. Uh, let me approach her again. Just a moment. And so he did the conventional poster, which is a combination of nature writing. In fact, although it contains some scientific detail, it's a very good read, by the way. Very entertaining. Well, I'll certainly look out for that book, John. Thanks. Now, our next book is about something completely different. Now, listen again. Good afternoon and welcome to Book Corner. Our first review today is of an unusual book by Charles Foster, which is a combination of nature writing, biology, philosophy, personal memoir. It's not very definable, but it's already being described as a modern classic. John, tell us about the book you've been reading. You're quite right. It's not very easy to define. The title is Being a Beast, and the book is about the author's attempts to be a beast, that is, to live as an animal or rather as several animals, a badger, an otter, a fox, a red deer, and a bird. He says he wanted to really know what life was like for these animals, and so he did the conventional research, the reading and so on. Then he actually tried to live in the same way as them, as far as possible. For example, when he's being a badger, he goes to live in a hole in the ground and crawls around a wood, learning to identify different trees by their smell. He even experiments with eating earthworms. 85% of a badger's diet is made up of earthworms. Did you know that? Ugh, I didn't know that. He took one of his children with him, didn't he? Yes, his eight-year-old son, Tom. Foster says that children make better animals than adults in many ways. They use their senses to understand the world more, and they think in a much less abstract way than adults. Another reason why he took his son is that badgers are social creatures and would never live alone. He says that Tom adapted quickly to being a badger, learning to smell mice, hear tiny forest sounds, and get around on four feet. How did Foster tackle being the other animals? In the same kind of way. As an otter, he spent a lot of time in the rivers and lakes and the sea, as an otter would, alone this time, since otters are solitary. The otter's big problem is that it has to spend all its time hunting for food in order to survive. And that feeling of desperation was hard to recreate, but he did catch live fish in his mouth. To try to live as a red deer, Foster went to the north of Scotland. He nearly died from exposure to the cold out on the mountains, and he asked a local to set his dogs on him so that he could experience being hunted. What happened? The dogs realised that he wasn't a red deer, that episode left Foster feeling that he had failed to get close to understanding the animal, but he had much more success as a fox. In London, he tried to forage for waste food, as an urban fox would. There's one very funny part where he's trying to sleep on the ground like a fox, and a police officer tries to move him on. He tries to explain that he's trying to be a fox. And gets arrested, I suppose. Almost. In London, he had the kind of animal encounter that he'd been hoping for. A fox looked him in the eye and he felt some kind of relationship was being established, animal to animal. He felt he had got close to understanding foxes. He had great respect for their ability to survive and thrive in the city. The end of the book is about swifts, those amazing birds which travel thousands of miles between continents every year. It must be hard for a human to live like a swift. Absolutely. Foster can't fly. The nearest he can get to the birds is by standing in a tree and trying to catch insects. But this section has a lot of fascinating facts about swifts and about other animals. In fact, the whole book is very witty and engaging. It asks lots of important questions about what it means to be human and animal and provides quite a few possible answers. I really recommend this to anyone with any interest in animals, or in humans, in fact. 
Although it contains some scientific detail, it's a very good read, by the way. Very entertaining. Well, I'll certainly look out for that book, John. Thanks. Now, our next book is about something completely different. Okay, all right. So this is pretty fast, right? <laughs> Try your best, ah. Huh? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's very difficult. I can't get. <laughs> you can't get. Never mind. Try your best. Try your best. Okay. Try your best, ah. Huh? Don't 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 lose don't lose heart on this part. I know it's it's pretty fast. So you just try not to lose heart, yeah. Okay. Try your best. Okay. Like question one. What do you think? <laughs> What's your answer? A, I second A. Okay, actually the answer is B. The reason is because they mentioned about it talks about the uh, nature. It says that it has to something to do with like uh, I wrote down here, uh, nature writing, because she did mention about this one. I I heard her saying this one. Okay, hang on, uh, let me type down. Okay, she mentioned about nature. What did I write? Yeah. Nature writing and then some biology and then some uh, modern or some classic things, you know. So a kind of mixtures of uh, a different genre. You get some good young modern classic You hear that one? But he also mentioned philosophy, right? Philosophy. Uh, philosophy. Eh, ni me you hunto hunto zong ma? Pus ike ba le ma? Ta pus ike ba le ma? Hunto a. You nature you. Ta pus ike ba le. So it should be a mixture of different genres. You understand or not? Hai you hunto hunto. Ta jiang dao yi dui de. Hai shi jiang de hen kuai yo. At the beginning, okay. So it's B. How about number two? Uh, A. Yeah. Yes, it's A. Okay, we are type A. It's A. In way ta, because he a few times he keep mentioning about how they live, right? Correct or not? Ah, so it's A. Number three. Mm, yeah, but the number two, he also got mentioned about research, right? I also heard the word research. They they did mention research, but uh he he because that's the purpose because he tried to live as a different animal because and then he also mentioned he did he did research into that and also why he tried to live he did answer he did mention that the reason because he want to understand how they live right because he need to do research first in order to try to understand so the question is because you understand uh, the key is because yeah, okay, okay. Bye, ma. Mm. Ta pu si jiang, zi si research into animals. Ta si jiang, ta men zen yang sen huo. He did mention research, but research how they live. You ting dao zi ge live ma, na ge zi how, research how they live. Research on how they live. Ah, okay. A pu si zi si research on animals. Research on animals yu hen duo a. 可能是 animal 的, uh, 其他的东西, how they uh, in animal 有很多东西可以谈的, 但是 how they live is okay? All right, number three. What's your answer? Uh, C. Yes, it's C. Did you hear? Did you hear the part? Uh, what did you hear? That. Huh? Just, I'm tired. You, you just guess only you didn't hear anything, is it? Uh, <laughs> uh? I, I will hear the word sense, but I don't know sense what blah blah blah. They, they mm -hmm. mention about smell, sight, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it? I mentioned, it, mean, it did mention about sense, but they say very fast, like it flow a bit. Mm. Okay, <laughs> okay, number, because these are children are better than adults at living, like, and because they rely on the sense of self, because for child, right, they cannot think more, right, so rely more on their what senses, 
uh, as a child, you are not physically agile because the child is child, right? And they are not able to be sociable because they are children. Even if you cannot understand the answer, you cannot hear clearly by guessing the answer. I think C will be more, you can, you can guess the answer, you know, even without hearing it. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> children, ma? Okay. All right. Question four. What's your answer? Um, is this C? This yes, C. it's C. He did mention he did not, he was not able to catch fish in his mouth. But that is not his greatest problem. He only mentioned catch fish in his mouth. But the question is, what is his greatest problem? Because he cannot recreate the author's food. Authors, because authors, the life of author is constantly focused on getting food. Preoccupation means his mind is all focused, his mind is all preoccupied with food. He, his purpose of living for author is to, to constantly to find food. So if you want to be an author, are you able to be able to create food for him? To create the food, to find the food? It's hard, right? It's very hard to recreate, right? So it's see. Okay. All right. Question five, what's your answer? Uh, B. B? He mentioned about red deer, but because he want to be a red deer, but the, the dog, the dog did not hunt him because the dog know he's not a red deer. Did you hear that part? That's a goal. Uh, because at that episode, right, he almost died, you know. He almost died, but he fell, he fell to to he fell at that part. It's not very successful. So the answer is A. Because later on, because I feel that I would like you to listen one more time because you really, really have to listen very attentively at that part. Ken? Uh, okay. 还有这个author, author, he spent all of his life, right, to hunt for food. Uh, author the Okay. And question six. Question six, what's your answer? Um, B. Answer is... Yes, it's B. Even police I thought it because he in public place corona. Okay, he was foraging for waste food. Did you hear that word for forage 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 for waste food? You may hear this. He was saying he forage is search for. The is forage. Write down. Search for search for. He forage for waste food. Search for waste food, just to find this garbage food. Okay, he to search for. He you mentioned this forage, but it was not. He was looking for this food, but he was not because he was looking for this garbage food. He was looking for this garbage food. So A is a distractor. A is a distractor. So B, but the police came to him because he was found sleeping on a public place. Hmm. Okay. Question seven. What's your answer? What do you think? Uh, B. He actually is he talking about he wants to be a urban fox. He you he said he's a city fox. Ah. Um, city fox. So actually the answer is A. They can survive in an urban environment. 等一下你听,你就会听到为什么是这个A. Because he did mention he is, uh, they are urban fox. 就是说, they can try, 他用到这个字, try. 我要你去, 等一下我要你听这个字啊, try, they can try and survive. Something like this. Okay? 他有, 他们有, try 的意思就是, uh, try 的意思是, uh, 讲讲, 很, 
，能够 overcome 的意思 ，thrive 就是能够 overcome 和 survive。Okay, overcome and survive in an urban area. Okay, 他用这个字 thrive. 你们听到这个字 thrive？ 等一下，我要你再听多一次啊。他用这个字 thrive in an urban environment. So it's A. Okay, number eight. Um, C. Yes, is C. What did you hear? Uh, means to be human and blah 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 blah. <laughs> you have heard, isn't it? Yeah. So it's not too bad. So how many? How many you got it right? How many you got right? How many <laughs> score here? Only four. Eh, I thought you got past six or six something like that. No, ah, uh, huh? I got. You got four. At least you pass. You know, not too bad. You know, not too bad. Okay. I will want you to listen to this part again. I want you to listen very carefully, ah, since you already got the answer. So I want you to listen to this part very carefully. Okay, hang on. Uh, let me minus it. Okay, just a moment. It's possible. For example, when he's being a badger, he goes to live in. Yeah. Allowed to read the books before buying is the only book as floods in parts of the Karinchi Highway. The Karinchi Highway need to but listen carefully. Only one time we listen, ah. Good afternoon and welcome to Book Corner. Our first review today is of an unusual book by Charles Foster, which is a combination of nature writing, biology, philosophy, personal memoir. It's not very definable, but it's already being described as a modern classic. John, tell us about the book you've been reading. You're quite right. It's not very easy to define. The title is "Being a Beast," and the book is about the author's attempts to be a beast. That is, to live as an animal, or rather, as several animals. A badger, an otter, a fox, a red deer, and a bird. He says he wanted to really know what life was like for these animals, and so he did the conventional research, the reading, and so on. Then he actually tried to live in the same way as them, as far as possible. For example, when he's being a badger, he goes to live in a hole. I think because that part, right? The first one is already passed here. Just a moment, ah. Just a moment. The first part is actually past already. The first question. Wait, ah. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Listen carefully. Good afternoon and welcome to Book Corner. Our first review today is of an unusual book by Charles Foster, which is a combination of nature writing, biology, philosophy, personal memoir. Okay, it's not you, very did definable. You, but did you, did you hear that? Did you hear? Yeah. What did you hear? A、uh, natural writing, biology, philosophy, and blah blah blah. Yeah, you hear. Cannot define, right? Cannot define. It says that cannot define. That means cannot classify into one type only. Cannot be defined. Okay. All right. So you hear this, ah?、Huh? Okay. Let's continue on. It's already being described as a modern classic. John, tell us about the book you've been reading. You're quite right. It's not very easy to define. The title is "Being a Beast," and the book is about the author's attempts to be a beast. That is, to live as an animal, or rather, as several animals: a badger, an otter, a fox, a red deer, and a bird. He says he wanted to really know what life was like for these animals, and so he did the conventional research. So, what is that? What What did you hear? Did you hear anything, Chong Yuan? Um,、uh, like science. Ah,、uh, science. Just now, what did the guy say? 
because he really want to understand uh, what the did you hear that part he is he say he want to live really know what life was like this animal yes correct okay uh -huh. Why he doesn't play? Just a moment, huh? Being a beast. Really being described as a modern classic. John, tell us about the book you've been reading. You're quite right. It's not very easy to define. The title is Being a Beast, and the book is about the author's attempts to be a beast. That is, to live as an animal, or rather as several animals. A badger, an otter, a fox, a red deer, and a bird. He says he wanted to really know what life was like for these animals. He really want to know what was their life as an animal. Did you hear that? Yes. What life was like? What life was like as an animal? And so he did the conventional research, the reading, and so on. Then he actually. So he did mention. So he did the convention research, right? But. The question is because why he want to understand what life they like they live, right? Correct or not? And then he move on to do the research. Correct or not? Mm. Actually tried to live in the same way as them, as far as possible. For example, when he's being a badger, he goes to live in a hole in the ground and crawls around a wood, learning to identify different trees by their smell. He even experiments with eating earthworms. 85% of a badger's diet is made up of earthworms. Did you know that? Ugh, I didn't know that. He took one of his children with him, didn't he? Yes, his eight-year-old son, Tom. Foster says that children make better animals than adults in many ways. They use their senses to understand the world more, and they think in a much less abstract way than adults. Another reason okay, did why... Did you hear? They use their senses or what? More than any adult, right? Did you hear that? Chong Yen? Yeah, 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 I heard it. He said he, he did. It doesn't mention sight and smell, but he mentioned senses. Did you hear that? Senses more than any adult. Okay? Senses only, ah. Uh. He took his son. Is that badgers are social creatures and would never live alone. He says that Tom adapted quickly to being a badger learning to smell mice, hear tiny forest sounds, and get around on four feet. How did Foster tackle being the other animals? In the same kind of way. As an otter, he spent a lot of time in the rivers and lakes and the sea, as an otter would, alone this time, since otters are solitary. The otter's big problem is that it has to spend all its time hunting for food in order to survive. And that feeling of desperation was hard to recreate. But okay. he did catch live fish in his mouth. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Very hard to recreate that, that kind of feeling because he spent all the time, Otto spent all the time to hunt for food. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. To try to live as a red deer, Foster went to the north of Scotland. He nearly died from exposure to the cold out on the mountains. And he asked a local to set his dogs on him so that he could experience being hunted. What happened? The dogs realized that he wasn't a red deer. That episode left Foster feeling that he had failed to get close to understanding the animal. But he had much more success as a fox. Okay, so did you hear that? Yeah. Because he asked his, the local people to let out their dog to hunt him, right? And then the dog realized he's not the red deer, so he failed to do that, okay? He failed to do so. In London, he tried to forage for waste food, as an urban fox would. Did you hear forage for waste food? Did you hear forage for waste food? Yeah. Okay. There's one very funny part where he's trying to sleep on the ground like a fox and a police officer tries to move him on. He tries to... Okay. So he slipped on the ground like a fox, right? But the, the police try to move him on. So because he's sleeping in the public area, right? Otherwise, the, why the police want to move him on? Explain that he's 
trying to be a fox. And gets arrested, I suppose. Almost. In London, he had the kind of animal encounter that he'd been hoping for. A fox looked him in the eye and he felt some kind of relationship was being established, animal to animal. Yeah. He felt he had got close to understanding foxes. He had great respect for their ability to survive and thrive in the city. Did you hear that? He felt a great respect for foxes because he has, they have the ability to, try, to thrive and survive in a, in a city. Did you hear that? To thrive yeah. and survive in a city. He felt a great respect. He did what mention try. Try is try means overcome. Try is overcome to, to, to survive. The issue, to thrive. Try means an ability to thrive in a difficult environment. I don't know how to say in Chinese. Okay? To thrive. In a thrive. thrive. Okay? Did you hear that? Then, because B is a distractor, B, he did mention they lock the eyes, right? Because they see eyes to eyes, right? They form a relationship with one. But, and then he mentioned, he moved on, he go on to mention, they, he felt a great respect. But he felt a great respect because they can, thrive and, they can thrive and survive in a city. Okay. The end of the book is about swifts. Those amazing birds which travel thousands of miles between continents every year. It must be hard for a human to live like a swift. Absolutely. Foster can't fly. The nearest he can get to the birds is by standing in a tree and trying to catch insects. But this section has a lot of fascinating facts about swifts and about other animals. In fact, the whole book is very witty and engaging. It asks lots of important questions about what it means to be human and animal and provides quite a few possible answers. I really recommend this to anyone with any interest in animals or in humans, in fact. Although it contains some scientific detail, it's a very good read, by the way. Okay. Why is the answer B? Because it's only, it contains some, some scientific details about animals, but it also mentioned about about questions uh, related to human beings and also animals. If he says it's funny, he mentioned about it's witty. Witty is, uh, witty is witty. question, witty instead of funny. I, I, didn't, I didn't hear the word funny. Yeah. It mentions the book is kind of witty. Witty is very clever. The. 很, 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 很有智慧, 聪明的方法, and lots of content, a lot of questions to ask about what it means to be human and also animal. Okay, now how you mentioned about some details, some de uh, detailed information about signs. Some only, but a lot of. So the answer is C. So for this part, you have to score this part. What do you think? What is your problem for this part? Uh, it's a bit too fast. You speak too fast, right? Yeah, it's very fast because at the same time, it's very challenging for part two because he's, you have to listen and read at the same time. You have to listen very fast enough and also read the question fast enough at the same time. So in order to help you to survive, so you have to read the question also beginning during the waiting time, right? Before the audio was playing, you have to, you have to read the question very fast. And sometimes you have to guess the question, guess the answer also. Because sometimes you don't even need to read the questions, need to listen to the, the, the audio, but you try to guess the answer. Normally, normally what I did is if I did not, I miss out certain part, right? I guess the answer. 我就是采用从那个题目, 有些时候, 从题目, by, uh, you have to guess by your, what do you call, logic senses. 用你自己的逻辑来 guess那个answer. Okay? <laughs> Very challenging, right? For this part, yeah? 
<laughs> Very okay. Difficult. Okay. So for for question part three. Uh, sorry, uh, my, my paper is actually a lot of uh, space problem. Okay, part three and part four, right? So can we uh, leave it for the next sessions? Is that okay? Uh, sure. Okay, because our time is up already. So would you, because it's already 7.38, what do you uh, think? Did you want to go through for part, part three first? Part, part three first can also, but your father is not looking for you to, for the food, right? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, speaker two. Okay, hang on. Ah. Can you see this one? Sorry, ah, because uh, my setting is something wrong. This is uh, question one. Okay, question one is speaker one. Question two, uh, this one, uh, 70. Question 17 is speaker two. Question 18 is speaker three. Question 19 is speaker four. Uh, question 20 is speaker five. Okay, ah? okay. understand? And then you choose this one. Uh. Can you read this one? You will hear. You will hear five shots. Oh, sorry, I didn't. On, on uh, it's okay. Mind. Yeah, it's okay. And can you, you read? Will hear, you will hear five short extracts in which teenagers are talking about living online for questions 16 to 20. Choose from the list A to G. What each speaker say? Use the letters only once. There are two extra letters which you do not need to use. You will mm. hear each recording twice, answering all the questions. Has recently learned about some of the negative effects of excessive online communication. Mm -hmm. Is suffering from the fear of missing out. Has witnessed great chan good changes. 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 Change changes in the way we communicate are uh, over recent years. Things limiting teenagers' access to technology in unfair. Which people would talk more in person? Enjoy being able to contact all friends with the same message at once. Is quite happy for any photos of themselves to be posted online themselves themselves okay themselves. what is the key what is the key key phrase on the questions what is the key key phrase what is it about this five shot extract is about what teenagers are talking about living online okay living online that means they are they are in the digital world okay is there how do they live their life uh being a part of the digital generation Okay, being a part of the living online means being a part of the digital generation. How do they live their life? Okay, how do they live their life? Okay, A, do you understand the meaning of it? Any words you, you don't understand? Excessive, uh, what's the meaning of excessive? Yes, excessive? Too many. Yes, exceeding, excessive means a uh, oh, huge amount, huge amount, okay, or oh, a lot, there is a lot, a lot, okay, and then negative effects, effects means, negative effects means uh, excessive online communication, if you, because if you use this word, right, continue with Jiafen, because this one is a C1 word, excessive, 很多的, 过多的 online communication. So what is the negative effect? Okay, 过多的 online communication, of course, there are a lot of negative effects, right? 很多的 negative effects, it can be edited too, right? B, do you understand this one? Do you understand? Suffering from the fear of missing out, what does that mean? What does that mean, you? mean to you? What does it mean, the fear of missing out? Uh, do know <laughs> the fear of missing out? 就是, 就是他怕, uh, miss out is inform miss out is information. I used to be one like this, you know, because every everybody is in the know. How come I don't know? Everybody they knows they communicate each other. Why they miss me out? Why they left me out? I don't know. So I have the fear of missing out. I used to be like that. Okay, so as a, a part of digital generate 
generations, we kind of like we want to be in we we want to be a part of it. We don't want to be missed out. We don't want to be left out. We want to be in the know. Fear of not in the know. Okay, 就是怕你怕你怕不知道一些东西，你怕 miss 掉一些 information. Okay, are you like that before? <laughs> are you like that? <laughs> Chong Yan. Sometimes. Sometimes, ah, <laughs> because 为什么别人知道我不知道的 ？I want to. Okay, C. Uh, no. Okay, recent years. What's the meaning of recent? 近近年来。Yes. Okay, D. Uh, no. What does that mean? Uh, 那个 teenagers 的那个想象能力会有，呃。呃，有限制啊。嗯 ，no。Things limiting teenagers access to teen technology is unfair。意思是说，他们认为限制这些 teenager 去 access to 那个 internet 是不公平的。为什么要限制这些 teenager？ 为什么要限制这些 teenager 去 access to internet 是 unfair 的 ？So let's later we listen how what they what。What do they? What were? What is their concern? Okay, because someone thinks that they thinks that someone thinks thinks 就是有一个人，其中一个 speaker， 他认为他他想 think 就是他认为的意思 ，think 的意思就是认为 ，limiting 就是限制这些 teenager 去 access 去哦去能够有这个 technology 的这个这个。呃、uh, ，access， OK， 去能够去 go online， 能够去呃、uh, contact to other people through online social media， 这个就是 access to internet 啊、uh, technology 是不公平的，就是你要限制他们是不公平的， OK， OK， 一、e? ， understand the question， understand the statement， and in person， what's the meaning in person？ 呃，跟人与人呢、啊？嗯，就是呃，呀，个别的 ，OK。And then in person 就是有啊、呃，你能够接触到他，能够能够跟他，不是不是 online， 不是 virtual 的，不是不是虚拟的 ，is not virtual。你是真的是接面对面的 ，OK， 面对面 ，OK，F、okay,。嗯，明白吗 ？Yeah. Let's say you have one message, right? You can send to everyone with the same message. 很省事，是不是 ？Right? Okay. G. Yeah. Understand? Ah.、Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to play. So you choose. Ah. So here you just write lah. Speaker. Speaker one. Two, three, four, five. Five speaker. They give you extra. They are what? They are two extra letter is not used. You five, you you mean five? You have to find five answers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then two extra you don't use. Okay, okay, ma. Okay. You you write speaker one to five first. Ah,、uh, one to five. Okay, and then you you give the answer A, B, C, D. All right. Okay. Very entertaining. Well, I'll、oh, certainly look out for、yes. that book, John. To、uh, return, we come back the Zoom because it's less than one minute. Okay. Okay. So I stop here, and then we end here, and then we start again. Ah.、Uh.